Hi everyone, it's Joanne back again with a work in progress and um, I thought I would go ahead and assemble my three tiered tray that I spoke about on last night's thrift haul video. Um, there seemed to be quite a bit of interest in the tray and how it was going to turn out so I thought I would just go ahead and film the assembly and I know you guys totally know how to put together uh, tiered trays. There's nothing difficult to it, but I thought I would just go ahead and show you how I put together mine. And if you did miss last night's video, let me show you the pieces that I picked up for it. Uh, first was this. This is gonna be the base of it. I fell in love with the colors on this particular tray. And this was $4. And then for the middle piece, instead of round, I purchased this kind of rectangular shape. Um, enamel with a floral design on it and uh, this is an Avon tray that was four dollars and then for the top piece I just got this nice black matte rectangular tray with kind of gold embossing around it and then for the separations between the tiers I have this wooden candlestick and this brass candlestick with a wood piece here and I did go ahead and do some preparation prior to uh, starting the video. I removed most of the felt off of the bo bottom of this. I removed this piece that I showed to you last night that was um, just a little higher than the top here. And I also kind of cheated and I went ahead and marked my trays where I want the tier separations to go uh, so I could get it um, pretty well centered up. So what I'm going to do is tip the camera down now um, so you can see what it is that I'm working on. Here we go. Okay, so I got my glue gun all ready to go. And this may seem a little bit um, backward, but I am actually going to start with the Avon tray first and I'm going to put the wooden candlestick. I've already marked the spot. I don't know if you can see the little tiny um, pin marks that I've made there, but that is where I'm gonna put this one here. I'm using hot glue uh, because, actually a couple of reasons. The main reason is that in the future I might want to use these trays for something else so I want to have the ability to be able to take it apart and not damage the trays. And also I don't think I need an E6000 or something you know super strong for this because the pieces that I'm thinking about putting on the tray are going to be pretty lightweight and once it's in place it's not going to be moved around a whole lot so I'm not too worried about it coming apart. I'm fingers crossed on that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on here, there we go, and then using the marks that I made, oops, okay, I'm going to have to do that again because I didn't center it very well on the marks that I had on the tray and I couldn't move it around. That glue sets up a bit quicker than I gave it credit for. So let's try this one more time. Here we go. Let's see. There we are. There we go. Much, much better. So I'm just going to hold that in place while the glue sets a bit. And um, I just think that putting it together this way might be a little bit easier uh, than putting the middle tr or the or the the um, putting this piece on the larger tray first. We'll see. Okay, let's. Okay, that's pretty well dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is put this piece now onto my bottom tray. And also marked the bottom tray here. You might be able to see a little tiny mark there, and there's one there. 
So, go ahead and put the glue on this. Oh, I'm gonna need another glue stick, I think. Okay, here we go. Get enough on here so that it doesn't decide to just pop off. Okay, now using those marks that I made before, this part you're not going to be able to see as it is going to be covered up by the other tier here. And there we go. I'm gonna hold that down now until that glue kind of takes hold. Then I think I'm going to do the same thing to the other tray. Let's put that aside, let that dry a little bit. And this one's gonna be a little trickier because they're really it's not a whole lot for the glue to stick onto here. So this, like I said, this is going to be a bit trickier. So let's get a good bead of glue as best I can get it on the very edge of this. Okay, and now with the mark that I made from before, go ahead and stick this on. There we are. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down a little bit until that sets up. And then the sec this piece, I'm actually gonna cheat a little bit on because I made. I did made there we go I thought I marked this tray as well the Avon on the top and now I'm looking at it and darn if no I did not so that's all right we're gonna eyeball this last piece here to put that on now the thing with the last piece let me turn you up a little bit here is that I want this tray and this tray to be pretty um, like you know even okay so I don't want it cockeyed like that I want them to be pretty much rectangle on top of a rectangle so let's go ahead and hot glue on here see that even when you think you plan things out really well you still end up forgetting to do something <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, this is a total eye job here. Let's see. Uh, not too bad. It could go over a little bit more over here. But for our purposes for right now, I think we are finished. That's it. I mean, it's pretty, hi, it's pretty easy to assemble. I think it's going to um, hold together pretty well. I may, after the video, go ahead and take this off and get it so that it's more centered. Um, and what I like about this is I think it all kind of ties together. Um, this is a darker piece. And then it's kind of broken up with the lighter piece and then a darker piece on the top. And you have the wood grain down here that plays off of the dark. And the copper here I thought kind of played into the gold that was up here and the wood with the wood. And I just thought that was a really sweet separation right here. So um, that is it. That's what it looks like all completed. And I am getting some things together to do some styling with it. 
So um, if you might be interested in seeing uh, me style the uh, tray, go ahead and either leave me a comment down below or give me a thumbs up on the video. That will uh, let me know that you're interested in that and I can do that in the next couple of days. And that's it. That's my new tiered tray. I'm quite happy with it. I think it's it's different. It's a little bit unusual. It's not like the other one that I have that is just, um, you know, simply the galvanized um, metal trays. So I'm quite pleased with the way that it turned out and it's kind of eclectic, I think. <laughs> so um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, let me know. Um, and that is it for this evening. I am planning on doing a, a Dollar Tree collective haul for you because I did purchase some things that I'm going to be using to style the tray with. So I'll do that either today, I'm sorry, either tomorrow or the next day um, and then go ahead and uh, show you how I style the tray. So that's it again and um, I hope you have a great start to your week. Today is Monday. It was a long day for me again. The days, I don't know why. They're supposed to be you know, getting shorter with the fall, but mine seem to be getting longer. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until the next time, take good care of yourselves, okay? See you then. Bye-bye.